Google Drive gets better for mobile devices. Microsoft finally talks about Windows Phone 7.8, and the Galaxy Note 2 finally reaches Verizon. I'm Jaime Rivera, happy that there's finally a world beyond Microsoft Office, and this is Pocket Now Daily. If you've ever had to experience what it's like to edit a specific cell on the previous version of Google Drive for mobile devices, you'll know how frustrating it was, and if you never did, then I hope you never do. Google has finally pushed an upgrade for iOS and Android that enhances the experience, and now it does feel like if you're editing a real spreadsheet and not something that came out of a web page. So make sure you upgrade because it is worth it. That's right, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 is finally reaching Big Red, though I find it kind of interesting that it didn't make it there before Black Friday. Verizon is going to be selling the device starting tomorrow online for 300 bucks after a two-year contract, though yes, you'll have to swallow that Verizon logo on the home button with a big gallon of water because it is coming. Microsoft has just released an Outlook.com application for Android that provides a more intimate experience with your mail, calendar, and just about everything in your Microsoft account on Android devices. Now, it's interesting because, first of all, you can pretty much do that out of the box with most Android devices already, and the app is getting terrible reviews so far. First of all, because it's the same as the Hotmail application that was already there, and it's a terrible looking application. I really don't know what designers were thinking of here. Speaking of Microsoft, they finally come on record to talk about Windows Phone 7.8 and their release, though, as everything coming from Redmond that you already know, they never provide specific dates. They just said that it's going to be available to as many devices as they can as of early 2013, and depending on who you ask, early 2013 can end sometime in June. So let's hope the Mayans don't have their thing and we end things by the end of this year, and we can probably see the upgrade before that happens. And finally, for the, um, well, interesting news of the day, Steve Ballmer has just come on record to talk about Windows Phone 8 sales. Sadly, he doesn't provide specific figures, but he says that Windows Phone 8 devices sold four times more this year than they did in the same period last year, though we never got the figures last year to compare anyways. But that leads me to the question of the day, or let's call this more of an exercise. Go outside tomorrow, and for the first 10 people that you see with a smartphone, count how many of these smartphones were Windows Phone. I did that exercise a week ago, and to be honest with you, none of them were Windows phones. Not even the old Windows Phone 7 devices, so leave us a comment down below. We're interested to see what you get. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching.